What's up, people? My name is Liam Major, aka Straight Shooting LJ, and you know what? I thought I'd jump into this review of Malarkey, and I'm gonna start off with a Blau Punked Bluetooth speaker. Now, I picked this up on a bargain from Sainsbury's actually, um, paid £20 for it, so yeah, it's one of the, one of the little big cone kind of things. Um, obviously, Bluetooth wireless audio playback. It's got a USB charging input as well. I'll show you those in a second. Um, the product specs is one of them as well. At least the features and dimensions compatible with most smartphones and media players supporting Bluetooth A2DP, including Android, iPod Touch, iPad, iPhone 4S, and later. I'm going to be testing it with a HTC Desire S. Quite an old, quite an old piece of. Um, mobile smartphone equipment but it'll do the job this one else i think it's like bluetooth 2 or 3 inside it so give it a bit of a run for its money um there's a usb hour power output socket for charging a phone or a player whilst in use so pretty handy little function there um there's a 3.5 millimeter audio input jack we're gonna i'm gonna go over that a little later as well um the speaker output Two times eight watt RMS, so basically sixteen watts worth of power. AC one hundred to two hundred volt mains operated. There's an adapter included. We'll go through that in a sec as well. The dimensions: approximate uh, one hundred ninety five high, two hundred wide, one hundred thirty five diameter, and that's in millimeters. So just for I um, put. Better put that out there as well, but yeah, it's one, it's one of them ones where let's get this stuff out of the box. All right, so there's my power cable. As I said, I picked this up on a bargain for 20 quid from um, Sainsbury's, I think it was down from about 35 45. Um, so it's one, one of them ones where it's kind of like price wise, not too bad, a little bit of a bargain. Let's get my little that side in that as well let's get this plugged in and get the show on the road for it so of course mains plug so I'm just plugging that into the mains getting that in there get that all up in there alright so that's that plugged into the mains let's get it out of the styrofoam polystyrene and all that instruction manual don't live life without one of these. Always helpful. Um, I've put, I've got my own 3.5 millimeter jack cable, which I'll be testing with the phone later. I've also got a MacBook Pro that I'm going to be testing this with as well. So more on that a little later. And here's so there's nothing else in the box. And here's the little mother itself. <coughs> No, not a bad looking, not a bad looking little piece of kit. There's the top, there's the bottom, front wise, side on, back as well. So as you can see, you got your 3.5 millimeter jack cable in, which I'll be showing you a little later. There's the DC in, which is the adapter in, the mains in, and the five volt output as well for charging stuff like smartphones and stuff whilst the speaker is on. So if I shift over my microphone and pop shield, lay this there. Um, yeah, so on the front, on the front, I'll show you this again in a second. But yeah, you got your play. Basically, it's a multi-function button, so it's play, pause, and is also used for the Bluetooth um, kind of um, pairing as well. Um, up, down, volume button as well. So it feels feels quite robust kind of plasticky plasticky but not L cheap not proper L cheapo plastic feels quite robust um you might not be able to see it but it's one of them was there's one speaker circle there one speaker output circle there so it's a front facing speaker it's not got anything it's not got any any sound radiating from the back or from the sides it's all front facing so if you're placing it on top of something you're gonna want to Let's say I'm sitting here, I would want to place it there so I'm getting the fullness of the sound. So let's get this DC adapter in. Start plugging this baby up. 
Right. So, as you see immediately, there's a blue flash, and then that's and then that stays static. So basically, and then starts flashing again. So that means basically it's ready to be paired with your device. Um, if I press and hold, then that turn, then basically that turns red. So basically that's switching your input. So if if I put in a 3.5 millimeter jack cable into the back, then I then this light has to be red for it to pick up and send the signal through the 3.5 millimeter jack instead of sending it via Bluetooth. So when I click that, so you got to press and hold it for about a second or two for it to start flickering blue, meaning it's ready to be paired. So I'll switch on my little desirous, switch on the Bluetooth on this as well. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Right. I've always got this phone on airplane mode, by the way, so that's why I've got to switch the Bluetooth on. So if I switch my Bluetooth on and then go into my Bluetooth settings and let's do that. Don't want to connect to any other devices that I may have. So what I will need to do Turn Bluetooth on and see if that shows. Search for devices and just waiting for that, waiting for it to pop up. Should pop up shortly. There we go. So the speaker has actually popped up as BS723. That's what it's popped up as. So if I touch to pair, so it's still flickering blue on there, so that means it's still ready to pair. So I'm just waiting, this phone takes a while to pair up with anything really. And there we go, now I'm paired with it. So I can now connect to it. And you hear a little beep, just to, and you hear a little tiny beep, little beep, just to denote that it has connected. So BS723 is the little Blower Punked speaker and that has now connected. So what I will do now is if I say play a little bit of music on it, just play a friend of, a friend of mine, um, Vasco Gamade, AKA Lays Breaks, I'll play one of his sets so, for it. So, my media volume is now full on Bluetooth on my phone. And let's jack this up. Let's really crank this up to full. Yeah, this is the late break. Yeah, the public starts starting to, you know, we did this. It's crushing, man. Okay! So that's full volume. Full volume. Not bad. For 16 watts, not bad. Hold up. So not too bad. So not too bad actually. The bass reproduction is actually not too bad. Let me turn that down a touch. Bass reproduction ain't too bad. Quite like that. So that was so that was me playing it at full blast. So for, so that's full blast on my phone and full blast on this. No distortion. Um, so it's not not a bad little not a bad little thing actually. And the Bluetooth, as you can see, the pairing was actually pretty pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, now what I'll do is the 3.5 millimeter jack, which I alluded to earlier. There's the 3.5 millimeter jack. You put that into the AUX in. So there's my 3.5 millimeter jack cable. Pop 
that in. And now I will pop this into a MacBook Pro, as you can see. Liverpool match highlights, of course, against Norwich. Um, for you football fans out there, you'll know me. For, you know me more for the pitch talk stuff. But yeah, it's one of them ones where. Um, so what I'll do is, so someone's put on, so someone's put online. I've got this hooked up onto my onto my MacBook Pro now. So let me play just some football highlights off of it. And what I what I need to do is to get it. I said earlier to get it to go from picking up Bluetooth to three point five millimeter jack. Where's that? And then jack up my volume, and there we go. So that's how you basically switch inputs. So this is full volume of that streaming off of Facebook. Give it to me, and he got it and played it into. The volume's not too, the volume's not too bad on it. Nice clear speech. Off the foot, a bash on the post, and the Liverpool goal. So that's so that's just a little brief one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play a track as well. Um, love this track, Rare. So they're talking about it. Love it. So let's jack. YouTube up to full oh, blast. Oh, so oh, let's see how that handles it for you. Oh, As you can see the bass reproduction again still still very good um, even through the 3.5 millimeter jack cable um, just gonna test it with some speech as well just to give a bit of um, give a bit of balance on it so here's so I want to pick someone I want to deliberately pick someone with quite a deep voice so let's give a big shout out to kayfabe commentaries on this one um, and play some audio from their breaking kayfabe with Kevin. Kids Nash. are always in, in some kind of trouble. It's drug related. So let me bring that back a little touch. So you saw there. It's a nice. So that's what's playing now. Breaking kayfabe with Kevin Nash. A little trailer. I like all my friends that live in these mansions along the oceans and their kids are always in, in some kind of trouble and it's drug related and you know and is this something you guys are dealing with now yes uh, he just did the don't tell me what to do and then uh, my wife came in the kitchen and it just escalated they got to the point where he just i mean he's a big kid you know he's six five is 250 it? okay hmm. maybe six six <laughs> and um he just shouldered me like hard and then just spit in my face and I just I just snatched him I told him you know when he was since he's been I said you're gonna get in a situation where somebody's gonna be tougher than you so it's one then one so the speech that speech at full volume streaming off of, streaming off of um, a good quality feed on YouTube um, I'm gonna play a little something with um, with a mix of music and audio in it, just to give a little illustration about how that sounds. Because um, again, this is still through the 3.5 millimeter jack, but as you can hear, it's not half bad. It's actually not half bad. So this is a pitch talk on the road video, as you said. Straight shooting LJ, the G Man and Tessie Fizzle at Hackney Wick FC over at Mabley Green for their first official match. Really, really excited. I think it's going to be a tremendous event. It's great to see so much of the community out supporting the local team. It's the 
kind of creation and idea of one man, Bobby Kasanga, mm-hmm. founder of the club. So Randy Bugs, like, Islington's got Arsenal, Harringay's got Tottenham, and Newham's got West Ham. So I thought I'd start a team in Hackney, and this is what brought the crowd out today. Reached out to a lot of Hackney wickers. Um, I'm one of them, lived in the area for six years. It's not a, a reaction to, to a negative thing. We've kind of seen the, the evolution of a club um, on social media, and it's been... And so yeah, the base the base reproduction is good. There's no peaking and clipping and distortion of audio. So yeah, even through the three point five millimeter jack coming out and coming out of my MacBook Pro, it's not too not too shabby. Um yeah, as I said for twenty pound, very, very happy with this. I think it's an absolute bargain. Um could have done with a couple more inputs, but as I said for the for the price that I paid for it. Um, I think it was normally like 35, 40, maybe even as much as 45 quid. But this little Blaupunk speaker, very, very good. I mean, it's one of them was the BS7, the BS723 cone wireless speaker. A little, a little bit closer for you. So the Blau, so it's basically the Blaupunk um, cone wireless speaker model BS723. Very very good little speaker for the for the money. I mean, it's it's one of them was it's nice and loud. Everything's nice and clear. Played a bit of music through Bluetooth. Held up very very nicely. I think the range is about ten meters. Um, but the the one thing the one major kind of drawback with it is just the fact that obviously with it being mains with it being a mains thing you can't kind of take it on the move really. Um, unless you're next to a plug socket, but even then, that means you're tethered. So for me, that would be the only drawback, plus the lack of inputs. But for a cheap little, for a cheap little piece of kit, for a cheap little piece of kit, not bad, not bad at all. I would thoroughly, I would thoroughly recommend it. Um, yeah, I mean that's it. That's it from me, Liam James Angel, aka Straight Shooting LJA. And yeah, this has been my review of the Blaupunkt Cone Wireless Speaker. To give you that model number again, the BS723 Cone Wireless Speaker. So a very, very good, very, very good little piece of kit. Remember, you can also charge, you can also charge your phone from it as well, which is one of the advantages actually of it being mains connected, is that it can draw power from that instead of drawing power from a battery that it would be running off. But yeah, very, very good little piece, very, very good little piece of kit. Very easy to switch your inputs. You got your nice volume button there, you got your Bluetooth syncing button too, sorry, pairing button too. So very, very nice piece of kit. I've been straight shooting LJ and it's been my pleasure reviewing the Blaupunk BS723 Cone Wireless Speaker. Thanks for your time. Hopefully it helps.